now you will learn diorinum diorinum is a greek word uh, corruption of the greek word that means duodecadectulus that means 12 finger bread it is a part of the small intestine that is the fixed part of the small intestine start from the pyloric pylorus of the stomach and up to the duodeno jejunal flexor this one and it extend from l1 l2 l3 vertebrae from l1 to l3 to see the duodenum we are going to reflect we are going to cut this one is the transverse colon transverse mesocolon we are going to cut the, this one and to see duodenum clearly and reflecting the stomach now see what we have done we have divided that uh, we have dissected this mesentery of the small intestine and i am reflecting it on the one side to see the duodenum and other than that we have cut transverse mesocolon and separated most of the large intestine and i am going to reflect it downward so you are able to see this one is the stomach pyloric part of the stomach and on the posterior wall here this one you are able to see this is a loop of duodenum in the c-shaped loop of we have seen this is the first second third and the fourth part of the duodenum in the c-shaped loop of the duodenum you find this one is the head of the pancreas head neck and the body of the pancreas so this c-shaped loop of the duodenum contain head of the pancreas duodenum having the four part the first part this is the horizontal part lies at the level of l1 vertebrae that is continued from the pyloric end of the stomach up to the superior duodenal flexor this is the first part around 5 cm or 2 inch in length it lies below the liver here this is the second part of the duodenum extend from superior duodenal flexor to the inferior duodenal flexor this one and it is around 3 inch length that is around 7.5 cm in length that is on the right side of the vertebrae this one is the horizontal part that is the third part of the duodenum it is around 10 cm or 4 inch in length it is crossed by the mesentery of the small intestine and also here you are able to see anteriorly it is crossed by the superior mesenteric vessels so these are the and it crossed from right to left side this is the third part of the duodenum and the fourth part of the duodenum is this one it is around 2.5 cm in length around 1 inch in length lies in front of the abdominal aorta at the level of L2. So this is the fourth part and it continues with the jejunum. So this is duodeno jejunal flexor.